wanted to do a video that would actually go over the percentages that you're going to use the fragrance in products. Um, with that being said, candles is the easiest one to start with. With a candle, you're going to start at 5%, you can go up to 10% or even 15%, but really with that number, 5 to 7% is about average of most people. Can you use less? Absolutely. Can you use more? Yes, but you're going to run into more problems. 10% uh, you'd still be good, strong candle, no issues. 15% you're going to have leaching, you're going to have stuff falling out, you're going to have problems. Soaps. Soaps usually 2 to 5%. Uh, that's a good place to start. You don't want to go past that. Uh, you will start running into some issues. Um, the main thing you're going to look at is your IFRA limits. Just because I'm saying 5%, if your fragrance actually says your IFRA limits 1% or 2%, you need to stay within that threshold. Uh, IFRA's International Fragrance Regulatory Association, uh, but IFRA does a really good layout so we actually know what we're supposed to be using. PC, personal care products, uh, that's going to be deodorants, hair care, um, lotions, uh, those types of things. You're going to try to keep those at 0.5 to 1%. The reason why is because it's left on the skin and you want to make sure that you don't have any issues with fragrances staying long term on the body. So that's why it's set up that way. Potpourri, uh, this is going to be dried flowers, uh, cinnamon brooms, those types of things. They're going to be sprayed or misted, uh, but with those products, 5 to 15%. Perfume. Perfume is going to be 20 to 30% fragrance. And the only reason why cologne is a little bit lower at 15% is because men just don't like it as strong. The rest of that's going to be made up of alcohol, add a little bit of water, and that's that product. Um, incense. Incense is mixed 50% DPG, 50% fragrance. Those are mixed together and then dipped with the incense punks. It's going to be as, as much will absorb into the incense. Uh, some people double dip them, they'll hang them up, dry them, dip them a second time. So there's not really a, a straight limit or threshold of how much can be used. It's just as much as will be absorbed into the product. Floor cleaners. Uh, this is uh, multiple products, multi-purpose cleaners, those types of things. You're looking at half a percent to a percent. Most people use about one percent. Can you use more? Can you use less? Absolutely. Just good rule of thumb. If you're buying the fragrances already cut to be water soluble, you're going to have to use more because the surfactant's already in it and it's cut. So instead of using 1% of a straight oil fragrance, water soluble, you're going to have to use 3%. Water soluble air fresheners, that's the same thing. Water soluble, it's cut and then there's water added to it. You're looking at 5 to 10% fragrance. Oil based fragrance. This means you bought the fragrance from us, you poured it directly off into bottles, and you're just using it 100% straight. There is no limits. 100% straight. Um, air freshener oil base, but you want to make your own cut. So it'd be 20 to 30% our fragrance, and then you would make up to 70, 80% with whatever you were going to cut the fragrance with. Air fresheners, multiple choices. Uh, laundry, this could be liquid laundry soap, or this could be the dry powder. Uh, you're looking at a half a percent to 1%. And if you're going to have it already liquid detergent made and then you're adding the fragrance on the back end, again, surfactant's already added, so that's a cut, you're going to want to use 3%. So this covers most of the products that we're selling on a day-to-day -day basis. So your candles, your soaps, your personal care, your potpourri, perfume and colognes, incense, floor cleaners, air fresheners, and laundry soap. Um, if you have questions on any of the other products, we can definitely tell you what the percentages are. Uh, again, personal care products, soaps, you want to look at the IFRA limits. Um, can you use more? Can you use less on all the other products? Yes, it all depends on your base. If your base stinks, you're going to have to use more fragrance. If your base smells good or has almost no odor, you're going to get away with using less. So it all depends on what your product is that you're trying to put the fragrance on top of. Can we tell you that? No. If you send us your base, can we give you a recommendation? Absolutely. So anything that we can do, just wanted to make a video real quick just to give you guys usage levels. Aromatic Fragrance International.